What is the one thing every human being on earth desires? It does not matter if you are black, white, Hispanic, or Asian. It does not matter if you are Christian, Muslim, or Buddhist. It does not matter if you are a man or a woman, old or young, rich or poor, passive or aggressive, Republican or Democrat, American or Iraqi. It is a universal desire throughout human history. It is so strong of a desire that millions have died for it, and it is the greatest cause to fight for. It is the one idea that could unite all of humanity under a common cause. The best thing about this desire is the more we lose it, the stronger the desire becomes. So what is this one common desire that is universally shared by all? It is freedom. Freedom may take many different personal paths, but in the end, we all want to control our own destiny, to live our own lives, to do what we want to do, to love who we want to love without others interfering. The United States was founded on this simple principle, and it is the last beacon of hope throughout the world. Before the American Revolution, tyranny ruled the world for 6,000 years, and now that same tyranny is rising up everywhere. The greatest truth never told is that humanity has been consistently enslaved over and over again throughout history, and that we can be free the moment we wish to be free. If the torch of liberty dies in the United States, all of humanity will suffer as the powerful seek to enslave the weak. Our founding fathers studied every aspect of freedom. If we seek to be free once again, we must also study every aspect of freedom. With freedom as a uniting cause for all of humanity, we can set about rejecting the paradigm that is based on the spreading of debt and death. and that we can create a new paradigm where there is a level playing field for all to rise to their highest and best self. The American Founding Fathers encapsulated this idea under the founding principle of our right to life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness. When we see that we have this one commonality throughout all of humanity, we must also recognize that we do not have the right to enforce our version of freedom onto someone else. If you truly want and believe in freedom, you must respect others' expressions of freedom. As long as their expression does not infringe upon your life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness, we should be able to be free to do whatever we want. Things are speeding up. It took thousands of years to go through the agricultural revolution. It took hundreds of years to go through the industrial revolution. It took decades to go through the information revolution. Now we are on the verge of a awareness revolution where humanity can finally use all the knowledge from all three revolutions to build something that resonates with what we are and what we are meant to be. We are at a unique period in human history where there is a very real chance that all of humanity will be free of the old world tyrannies and learn to respect and protect each other's freedoms. With the mathematically inevitable collapse of the dollar, all of humanity will be freed from consumerism, narcissism, and militarism. Once freed, humanity will have the knowledge, incentive, and the ability to communicate these ideas of freedom as a way forward. There will be no need to follow down the dark path of fear and coercion. Men and women of all races, ages, and creeds from all over the world can rally around the simple idea of life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness.